So contrails. It's like sky riding by airliners. <laughs> Only probably not good for the sky, I'm guessing. <laughs> We're checking with Scott with I know a lot of kids wonder what is that behind what is the airplanes? It, what is the contrail? It's what, yeah. what's left behind the, uh, an airplane? Not all the time, at some time. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter. And here's why. I took this picture about, uh, oh, about 45 minutes ago, uh, right outside uh, in Nampa, basically. This is a contrail. What's short for condensation trail? It is water. It's not necessarily a chemical that's being spread into the air. It is a water vapor, basically, that's beginning to show up, that's condensing out so that you're seeing it. It happens. Here's another picture I took a little earlier as well. A condensation trail right here. And you can get lots of them at times. Or sometimes the atmosphere is just right where you get all kinds of trails left in the sky. And what's basically happening, it's much like on a cold day when you go outside and you can breathe and you can see your breath. You've got extra moisture going through that jet engine, basically, that's happening on the plane there. And it's going out to a very cold atmosphere. And basically, you're mixing up the air with the turbulence from that engine. And that moisture is condensing, causing the trail. If the atmosphere is moist enough but doesn't have clouds, it will support a long contrail. If it's extremely dry, that contrail won't even show. Up. It just won't even happen, much like going outside and breathing, and you don't get that uh, extra breath showing up uh, in, in condensation of that moisture. So when you have lots of contrails like this, it's a sign that you may be having a warm front approach. And the air's lifting. It's supporting those contrails. It's keeping them there because the air is rising. Sinking air will dry them out. Sinking air will give us good weather. This can lead to stormy weather as well. And these contrails, watch as I push this ahead, sometimes if they stick around for a while, the upper level winds will shear them apart, and you get a lot more high clouds around. So again, contrails, condensation trails, that is water vapor that's beginning to show up. It shows up sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. That's uh, cool. I yeah. like those pictures. Good explanation. All right, thanks, Scott. Well,